Welcome aboard. I'm James Raisbeck, CEO of Raisbeck Engineering and its wholly owned subsidiary, Raisbeck Commercial Air Group. I'm not your average flight attendant, but I do want to point out that if you are the average passenger, this is what you would see upon entry to an Alaska Airlines 737, which is Raisbeck equipped with hardened cockpit security. It is obvious someone has done something to make the cockpit and the cabin more separable. First of all, I'd like to point out that all of the features that Boeing designed and built into this door remain. Pilot ingress, egress, blow-in panels for cockpit depressurization, and there are other features which Boeing had put in. For example, in addition to the bulletproof door, we have two acrylic inch and a quarter glass bulletproof windows, one which is at our height for looking in and out, and the other one of which is at the pilot's height when he's sitting down so he can look straight back. The bottom screen is fastened permanently, and the blow-in doors go in toward the cockpit as Boeing had them. This is kick-proof, quarter-inch aluminum. The top half is covered with our screen also, except that it falls away when the actuation mechanism of the pilot ingress, egress system is pulled. On the cockpit side of this door are several things that are of interest. The first of all, of course, is the latching mechanism, which itself is bolted up to uh, an eighth inch thick stainless steel pad, mounting pad, and is totally self-contained. It is actuated by a control cable, cable craft, which is wrapped around the bottom of the door, half, underneath kick pads, and up on the pedestal. All rigging is done at Raysbeck and ready to install on an overnight. If I were the pilot and I needed to disarm the door, and unlock the system, all I have to do is flip it and it's unlocked. The door reverts in all of its features and functions to the way Boeing designed it, built it, certified it, sold it, and delivered it. It's also available to the co-pilot, obviously, and uh, is used during takeoff. One can envision the door would be locked with a crew inside before the passengers arrived, so that they, upon entering the airplane and looking furtively left to see what had been done, will obviously see the protection afforded by the door, giving them the kind of peace of mind that passengers today need. On the cockpit side, however, one can envision a checklist that reads something like this. Just upon taking the active and releasing the brakes on the checklist is unlatch the cockpit door. So that in the case of a refused takeoff or any other emergency, the access to the cockpit and from the cockpit are as Boeing and the fire departments understand. After takeoff, it's gear up, lock the door, and it remains that way for the rest of the flight. Just prior to landing, it's gear down, flaps down, over the fence, disarm. So it's essentially foolproof. It's mechanical. It works with the battery still in the hangar. It is nothing electrical about it. It's simple, it's smooth, and it's functional. Should a requirement be made to manually operate this, there is a quarter turn, and this can be pushed down and manually latched by standing up from the pilot or co-pilot's position. Now, interestingly enough, Alaska Airlines, at least for now, has opted for what I would like to call modesty curtains so that they, no one can look in unless they want them to. This is what the pilot and co-pilot see as they look back through to the cabin, and up here is a similar situation with respect to the top. What you can't see here is that this door is covered with 3 8 inch thick Kevlar, bulletproof to not only five consecutive 44 Magnum Clint Eastwood special shots at close range, but also five additional rounds from a nine millimeter Glock. Clear. 
This is the shot sheet that we tested to National Institute of Justice Level 3 standards, and the bullets are still inside. As I swing the door to about 90 degrees with respect to the, uh, to the camera, you can begin to see the thickness of the 3 8 inch Kevlar. While the cockpit side door handle remains as Boeing delivered it, we have replaced the cabin side door handle with a solid piece of aluminum which in itself is impenetrable with bullets, but also doesn't allow for what we call a purchase of somebody who wants to grab onto the door and try to open it illegally. The pilot egress system is quite straightforward, and it is, in fact, identical to what Boeing delivered. This panel, when pulled from the cockpit side, collapses like a hanging bag and is discarded on the jump seat. This screen falls away just like a screen uh, window panel on your house when it is no longer supported by the tabs which keep it in place. It falls into the uh, cabin area and is discarded. The pilots can go through the hole that remains. Those screens on the outside are tabbed into the same system that this handle pulls the pins from when the door itself comes loose and goes away from the main frame. Our hardened cockpit security system is currently being installed on all 70 Alaska Airlines 737s of all types, 200s, 400s, 700s, and 900s. It will be completed by November 15th of 2001, a scant four weeks since the program began. This particular airplane here is the first one to go in service. We are in production with this kit at Raysbeck Commercial Air Group at the rate of 100 kits per month and are able after November 15, 2001 to supply these kits to other operators throughout the world of the 737 aircraft. Our Raysbeck hardened cockpit security system includes the bulkheads. It's been accepted by major airlines and is in service with them. It is elegant in its simplicity, it is affordable, and it's available. If you have any questions or wish to schedule your airplanes for installation on your 737, 757, or MD-80 series, please contact us at Raysbeck Commercial Air Group.